everyone. So today is not going to be a my hometown video, although I am super excited and really appreciate all of the support that you've been giving me through all of your comments and everything. I'm really glad that you're all enjoying the project as much as I am and that some of you seem to be drawing on your own inspiration from it, which is really, really cool. So today we are in a town called Roxton Falls. Uh, this town is situated in on my drive in between the farm and going to Granby to shoot my hometown series. And it's a town that, I mean, I've lived near it my whole life. And like I mentioned, I drive through it a lot, but I never take the time to stop and notice the landmarks that much. Uh, I do see a few things, but I've never stopped to photograph it. So I thought that today would be a perfect opportunity for that. Um, the farm work has been very, very busy, very hectic these days. Uh, so I managed to be able to squeeze a few hours out to shoot this video which is really great. And if I sound a little bit sniffly, uh, that's because my allergies have kicked in. Hay fever is in full swing. So I apologize for that. So Roxton Falls is uh, known actually most especially for its falls, <laughs> hence the name. And I have never actually taken any time to check them out. I've heard all about them, but I've never gone to see them. So today we will be walking around through the town to find some interesting landmarks. But first, we're going to go and check out those falls. shooting Roly RPX 400. This is such a great little black and white film. Uh, it reminds me a lot of Ilford's HP5. Uh, it's also a very versatile film. It can be shot very successfully at box speed or even pushed up to ISO 1600. And seeing as the light is a little bit variable, there's some clouds in the sky, I wasn't sure what kind of conditions I was going to find myself in. So I really wanted that uh, ISO 400 so that I could cover all of my bases. I'm going to be pairing that up with the Bronica ETR. This is such a fun little camera to use. Um, it's actually not all that small, but for medium format, it really is. I just love that 645 negative size. Uh, it's just so much fun. So I thought that the two would go really, really well together. So we're going to load this up and uh, I'm gonna head up into town and walk around a bit. As for the falls, well, I was kind of expecting more. I actually find the old metal equipment from the sawmill a little bit more interesting.
so I'm uh, starting to lose the light a little. This was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, but I do see a sign over my shoulder back there that I'm gonna go and check out. I'll probably take a shot of it because I'm really just going for low hanging fruit here. This small town is smaller than I thought it was going to be. Wow, <laughs> that was not at all what I was expecting. I'm not entirely sure that the light was on my side all day either, but you know what? I feel like I made the best of all of the situations I had. Sometimes that happens in photography. You only get a few minutes uh, when you can run out with your camera and get some photographs. You're not always going to have the best sunny skies or the most perfect conditions. You just have to make do with what's around you. And I'm actually still pretty excited about some of these shots. I think I did the best that I could. And on the other hand, as well, I did find a few shots that I wanna come back for in the morning, maybe on some color film. So that could be kind of interesting too. Uh, this maybe worked out in, uh, in multiple ways. We'll see what happens in the future. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of your support. I am going to get back to those My Hometown uh, videos. I'm really excited. I've got some really good stuff coming up and I can't wait to share it all with you. So I'll see you in the next video.